this is exactly what Neville Goddard said. Remember, without motion, it is impossible to bring anything forth, for everything lives in an invisible world. Do you know, do you know someone who would congratulate you if they heard good news about you? Bring them into your mind and allow them to congratulate you. Now, the power of any imaginal act is in its implication. If he is congratulating you on your good fortune, then you must have already received it. So accept his congratulation as a fact. Do that and you have subjectively appropriated your objective hope. Right? So let's start from the end. What is your objective hope? Your objective hope is that whichever you want to manifest in your outside circumstances. Right? But we first have to subjectively appropriate it so that it can be objectively expressed and mirrored back to us. Right? And the the first sentence, that is a key. Because without motion it is impossible to bring anything forth right to manifest anything motion what what motion does neville refer to here he's meaning the internal motion right moving within moving within consciousness shifting within consciousness shifting your consciousness into the version of yourself that has already accomplished the goal shifting your consciousness to the level where you already are you want to be right seeing the world as though you would see it would you already be the version of who you want to be, what you already have, what you want to have, right? How would you now see the world if things would be as you want them to be, right? That is you moving within. Objectively, the facts, they are not showing it, but we can still feel as we would feel and be within in the end state, right? It's an inner motion, an inner motion that is then reflected externally as well because everything lives in an invisible world. What Neville is referring to is simply that there's more than what your senses can perceive, Right, your senses perceive like a tiny snippet of reality, right? But if we say that is all there is, we live a very limited life. If we awaken more to this objective world and we see, wait, there are more states, right? There's more possible. If I desire something, that means that this state is also in existence. Otherwise, I couldn't even have the desire for it and have the awareness of it. So it dwells somewhere within this unseen realm of potentials, right? It's basically a another portion of creation that you're not, that you haven't unlocked yet, but you can unlock it by starting to dwelling on it, right? Do you know someone who would congratulate you if they heard good news about you? So now we're moving into a method, into a way that I oftentimes also talk about on my channel for how you can move within, how you can shift within so that your external world can also shift, right? And the way to do that is to experience imaginatively a congratulation because a congratulation implies success. That is why I think the congratulation scene is very easy. Um, but again, find your own way. I'm just saying it is a potent way. Um, a congratulation always implies success. It always implies that the thing you want already has happened. Otherwise, why would you be congratulated on? Right? So if you now would have your goal, if you now would be the version, version of yourself that you want to be, if you now would have lost weight, if you now are healthy again, if you now are with the partner, if you now have, had, have gotten the job success, if now you have the business success, do you know anyone who would congratulate you? That's one example to move within. Because we can bring them into your mind, in our in front of our mind's eye, which means in front of our imagination, our imaginative inner reality, we can experience this person. We can see them. We can hear them. Maybe we even feel a touch when they pat us on the shoulders, or how they shake our hands, how they give us a hug. But we can also hear them. And we can listen to them, how they congratulate us, how they say, wow. I'm super proud of you. That is, for example, what I used when I wanted to manifest a certain um, financial and business success. I heard my parents, who are very close to me, I heard them congratulate me because that implied to me that the goal has been achieved. So when I experienced that within, I identified, therefore, more and more with this version of me that has already achieved this goal. Right. So bring this person in front of your mind's eye, in front of you, and let them and let them and let them say the congratulation, right? Or let them hug you. Let them smile at you. Whatever implies to you that it's done. Because, like Neville said, the power of any imaginal act right, is its implication. It's not the act itself. Right? We can imagine so many different... We can imagine infinite things that we want. This, 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 that, that congratulation, that person saying this, that person doing this. But the question is, what does that awaken within us? What state does that fuse us with? What does that represent to us? What does it awaken in ourselves? Right? What do we identify with? by imagining this certain act, right? So the power in any imaginal act is its implication, 
right? So if this person then is congratulating you on, in this case, your good fortune, then you must have already received it, right? So when you hear them in your congratulation, hey, how did you do that? Or we're super proud of you, or that's amazing, tell me more about it. Or I'm really happy for you, man. I'm really happy for you. Whatever your best friend would say in their tonality, in their way of speaking, in their language, whatever a family member would say. And again, the moment they say it, in that moment, in that moment, they're basically confirming that you are in the new state. In that moment, your awareness is shifted into the reality where you are, who you want to be, right? And you hear that. So they confirm that you're already there. You anchor yourself in that. Then you open your eyes. No change yet. But you know what you just subjectively experienced, right? Let that be true. Have your faith in that. Trust in that. Dwell back in that, right? So accept the congratulation as a fact, right? Accept the imaginative experiences as reality don't accept them just as daydreams and oh yeah these are cool fantasies but that's my reality no that is a tiny portion of reality but there's so much more also these subjective inner experiences they're also real they also exist they're simply not manifested but they're also they're more states than the current state you're in and when you do that you have subjectively my subjective means no one knows it like the world doesn't see it yet it's only happening within your inner world appropriate it shifted into, occupied, identified with your desired state, with your desired outcome, right? Through that implication, you have anchored yourself in the state and that state is going to be mirrored back to you because that's the mechanism of life, the universe and consciousness as above, so below, as within, so without, right? We give our higher self the coordinates by imagining something and then we will move there and then we give new coordinates and then we will move there again, right? Imagining creates reality, we first put our attention on something within, in a subjective world, and then objectively everything will reshuffle itself so that we end up externally or we first have placed ourselves internally. Right? That's, the, that's the game of life, right? Experiencing the wish fulfilled and then seeing the wish fulfilled being mirrored back to us outside as a consequence, right? The manifestation is the consequence of that wish fulfilled that we first experienced and allowed ourselves to dwell in, in our inner world. Let me know your feedback and comments beneath this video. I always like to hear from you guys. I always like to hear any video ideas, any topics that you want me to, to talk about. And if you need more help, check out my free masterclass. You can check out my YouTube channel. There are a lot of videos. If you want to have my accountability, my coaching for your specific use case, you want my learnings after working with over 300 people, after you know me myself having been in this journey for, for, for a long time, for many years, then uh, check out my program. Right? And if that's too much of a commitment for you right now, then simply go to my website, okay, UpgradeToLife.com. Uh, it's the name of my YouTube channel, right, UpgradeToLife.com, all written in, in one word. And there you will find my inner circle community. You can join that for only $50. It's a community of like-minded people, Upgrade to Life community. And in there, you will find a mini version of my program. You will find unreleased unreleased interviews with people on their manifestation journey that have manifested a lot of things that are sharing their insights, their key learnings. So you can learn from me, a mini version of my program. You have a community and you have these learnings from my program members. So all you need in a sense to move forward right now. Uh, that's what you can also check out if it resonates. That's it from my side. Speak to you in the next one. Bye guys.